Okay, you should have your file open at this point. And the first thing that you do is you come to the south view. You can see right here, I am on the south and you see a note for me that says change level heights to make sense. First thing that we do is I'm just gonna take a look here and we've got to answer some questions. The first question is, where is the frost line? We're gonna say that the frost line is at 42 inches or at minus three foot six. Notice I didn't put in um, the foot or inch marks. I just put in minus three space six. I hit enter, that moved up. The grade line is gonna stay at eight inches. The top of the foundation, bottom of the elevation will go to zero. It will always be at zero. And then our house, we're gonna step up one foot into our house. That puts our floor line at one foot and a ceiling a pl plus a ceiling of eight foot makes that a total of nine feet. We're gonna leave the ceiling there. Our floor two, there is no floor two for this. So I am going to select it and I am going to delete it. That has now been deleted. We're in good shape there. And then we're gonna look at the roof. The roof is not gonna be at 19 feet. It's gonna be one foot above ceiling one. So I'm gonna double click on this dimension of 19 feet, type in 10, it's gonna come down and our level has now come down. When I'm done with that, it says change the level heights and then delete this and then you're ready to move on. We do all of our drawing on TOFBOE. So we're gonna click on TOFBOE and we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna see these elevation markers and we're gonna draw just like right in the middle here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit because I know I'm there and we're gonna start drawing our cabin. The cabin is 26 foot three wide and it is a total of 36 foot deep. So we're gonna start with a wall. I'm gonna click on the wall right over here. Underneath options, I'm gonna make sure it says height. We're gonna go all the way to the ceiling. We're gonna say finish face exterior and we're gonna leave the rest of this as default. And I'm gonna draw a line and I'm gonna come straight across and I'm gonna type in 26 face three. If you don't get that perfect, you don't need to change it. We can change that later. Coming down, we said that this is going to be 36 feet. So I'm going to type in 36 feet there. I'm going to come across at 26 foot three again, 26 space three, hit enter. And then I'm actually going to do on purpose, I'm just going to stop right there. And that's not correct. We didn't want to do that. But this gives me a chance to show you the most powerful command in Revit, which is the trim command. Notice here is my options bar, but I am also in the modify. This is the trim command. And the trim says, hey, what do you want to keep? I want to keep this wall and this wall, and it automatically puts it together. So we'll use the trim command quite a bit. All right, notice that when we did this, when we clicked on these walls, these were the basic siding six and a half inch walls. I'm going to click on a 3D view right here and just take a quick peek and see that my siding is correct on the outside. I drew it going in a clockwise direction, and I'm ready to go back and start laying out the walls on the inside. So I'm gonna click on TOFBOE once again, right there, and I'm ready to draw walls again, but this time we're gonna do interior walls. So I'm gonna click on the properties bar and change it to interior D south. All right, all of the bedrooms are 10 by 10. So we're just gonna draw some blocks on the inside and we're gonna learn how to, I'm actually gonna just kind of randomly place these in here because I know that it, look, it looks something like that. So I draw two walls. I'm gonna right click on this or go back to wall and do it again. And we're gonna draw some more interior walls. There's the four and a half inch roughly in this area. We're gonna go up and I'm gonna do it wrong on purpose. And then we've got one more bedroom. I hit the escape key and we've got one more bedroom that is down here. Now I'm doing this wrong on purpose just so I can kind of give you guys an idea of how we lay out these blocks, okay? So there is a 10 foot by 10 foot room. If I hit escape and I click on the wall, what we have is temporary dimensions come up. And you can see that the dimension is measuring from the inside of the wall to the inside. If you look on the plan, that wall is supposed to be 10 feet. Whatever is selected in blue is going to change. I change that to 10 feet. That wall is now the correct width. I want this wall to move. It's at 12 feet. I need this to be at 10 feet. Your dimensions may be different. But at the end of the day, I want this wall to be 10 foot from here, and I want this wall to be 10 foot from here. This is an extreme situation. It's not even close, but I want to move this wall. It is also 10 foot. So I'm going to click on there, make it blue, 
it moves over to 10 feet. I'm gonna click on here, move that up, change that to 10 feet. And we're gonna have a little bit of space in between, that's fine. We're gonna put a closet in there later. Those are at 10 feet. How about these walls here? We said all bedrooms are 10 by 10. This says it's a little bit bigger. Yours may be a different dimension. I'm gonna type in 10 feet there, it moves it up. And I'm gonna click right over here in this wall. We want this wall to move. Having trouble getting the dimension that I'm looking for. Now it says it's at five foot. I click on 10 feet, it's at 10, and there we go. I can simply just drag this up if I'd like, right to that corner, and you can see that it always trims and makes that one long wall. All right, on the other side, we just have a few more walls to lay out. We have a bathroom that is five foot. We have two bathrooms that are gonna be back to back and they're five foot from each other. I love to right click. If I right click on a wall and I say create similar, I get a wall here that's gonna be, I can pull it out. And this time I'm gonna leave this wall just a little bit short and I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna right click on that wall create similar, and I'm gonna leave this one a little bit short as well. If you look on the plan, the plan tells you that these walls are five foot apart. So now I'm gonna move this wall in and look at that, I actually got pretty lucky. It's exactly at five feet from the inside to the inside, which is exactly what my dimension says. Now I'm gonna click on this wall here and move this one. And I want to move this at five foot as well. Okay, the last tip for the today, is we are gonna learn the um, trim command or the align command. I'm gonna click on a wall and this is the align. Today you must know trim and align. The align command says, where do I wanna to align to? I wanna to align to right here, this wall, and it automatically moves it out. I wanna move align to, where do I wanna go? I wanna go here, I want it to that wall, and that wall comes out. Now I'm gonna do one more quick trick here. I'm gonna do the trim command because I need a wall that's coming down here. And I'm just boxing this out. I'm gonna say trim, I want this wall and this wall to come together. And now we boxed it out. There's a few other walls that we're gonna lay out. We've gotta do the closets. And then we're gonna do that on the next event. But right now, all I should see is this from you. Three 10 by 10 boxes, a five by 10 box and a five by 10 box. You can stop at this point and turn that in, I'll check it off and let you know that you're in good shape. We'll come back and we'll lay out the closets right after this.